The Sanctified Life, Chapter 9 John in Exile The wonderful success which attended the preaching of the gospel of the apostles and their fellow laborers increased the hatred of the enemies of Christ. They made every effort to hinder its progress and finally succeeded in enlisting the power of the Roman Emperor against the Christians. A terrible persecution ensued in which many of the followers of Christ were put to death. The Apostle John was now an aged man, but with great zeal and success he continued to preach the doctrine of Christ. He had a testimony of power which his adversaries could not controvert and which greatly encouraged his brethren. When the faith of the Christians would seem to waver under the fierce opposition they were forced to make, the apostle would repeat with great dignity, power, and eloquence that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life, that which we have seen and heard, declare we unto you, that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son Jesus Christ. First John chapter 1 verses 1 through 3 The bitterest hatred was kindled against John for his unwavering fidelity to the cause of Christ. He was the last survivor of the disciples who are intimately connected with Jesus and his enemies decided that his testimony must be silenced. If this could be accomplished, they thought the doctrine of Christ would not spread, and if treated with severity, it might soon die out of the world. John was accordingly summoned to Rome to be tried for his faith. His doctrines were misstated. False witnesses accused him of a seditious person, publicly teaching theories which would subvert the nation. The apostle presented his faith in a clear and convincing manner with such simplicity and candor that his words had a powerful effect. His hearers were astonished at his wisdom and eloquence. But the more convincing his testimony, the deeper the hatred of those who opposed the truth. The emperor was filled with rage and blasphemed the name of God and of Christ. He could not controvert the apostles' reasoning or match the power which attended the utterance of truth, and he determined to silence its faithful advocate. The Sanctified Life, Chapter 9, John in Exile